Message to the ladies. You have been a victim to a crime that happens every day. Now whether you know it or not, you have been beaten, scarred and bruised, and used like the tool that they wanted you to be. What crime is this, you ask? Media abuse. Their weapon of choice, anything that you can hear, see, or is tangible. And how do they do it? Simply through manipulation. They start by attacking you with questions in a friendly and appealing tone, making you second guess your appearance while trying to persuade you to pay for four easy payments for pretend self esteem, plus shipping and handling. True, you can buy beauty supplies, but that does not mean that you can purchase beauty. But wait, there's more. I dislike it when females say, I want to be skinny. I question if they mean healthy because being skinny does not mean you're healthy. Thin does not equal beauty. And since it's skin deep, you cannot make up your personality. On that subject, I wonder why they call it makeup. Is it supposed to make up what you don't have? I mean, God made you the way you are, so what is there that you have to make up? Now, I'm not saying that cosmetics are a bad thing. It's okay to use these products, but do not overdose because it gets addicting. See, beauty validation should not depend on men's confirmation. It should be self-established. And do not depend on what the models portray, because honestly, they do look great after Photoshop. In the midst of all this, I find it interesting how most of this abuse can be avoided. How every page you flip in a magazine is like inserting bullets into a magazine. Attach to the gun, then you shoot your self-esteem. Bang! There goes your confidence. We often forget that the media or professionals are telling us what to do, but why listen to someone who doesn't care about you? They just want your money. Coins, bills, checks, and credits, it all adds up with their lies are then publicized, and it turns out that you are guilty of being innocent. See, growing up, I was told that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so may I ask, who is in possession of your vision? See, in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4 states that it's not about the clothes that you wear or how you style your hair. Do not shade the beauty that God has brought into the light because it's great worth in His sight. Now, if you don't hear this often, let me be the one to tell you. You're beautiful. Not because of the mascara you put on or paying $25 to clean your cuticles. You are because you are made in His image. No editing, cropping, Photoshop, Duck lips or Instagram filters can change that. Just remember, can't spell beautiful without the B and the U.